Right, so I showed you in the last video the demise of the fairing. Well, I say demise, it's all on the floor over there. Um, that's a sort of mock-up with the headlight. Won't be using these brackets. Whether I buy some really expensive black ones to go on there or make up something of my own, I don't know yet. But I'm definitely not using them. But that's the headlight. Um, most of the screws on the front mug guard are chewed up. So I can't get that off at the moment, but that will be going and I'll make my own little one. Um, wiring wise, obviously there was a massive amount of wire. There you go. So you've got um, the two switch gears, you've got the speedo, You've got this one here, which is something else. <laughs> and then on the end of it was a big fuse box. And as you can see, I haven't got room for the fuse box. It used to sit inside the fairing about here. Um, there's no room for it there. So it's going in the, in the air box in the lower half. So if anything does come away from it, it's not going to go through the filter and get sucked into the um, inlets. So that's what I've just done. Cut that off. So I've got a few wires to solder back on. Hopefully in the right order. Um, that enabled me, because all these plugs... This wire... Let's just sort this camera out. Right, so this wire, all of this, and everything that was on the end of it, came through there and ran along the frame, that was where the cable holder was, and came round here and obviously filtered onto the front fairing, and when it's different ways. Um, so now I've pulled it back through there. Obviously the fuse box was too big to go through that hole. Hence why I've cut the wires. I need to cut the wires anyway because there's going to be far too much wire here anyway. So all these need cutting back. Um, and as I go through things like the indicators and stuff like that, all the wiring will be cut down. Um, so I'm re-rooting it up the side of the motor here. And it will go underneath the air intake. And there's room for it, hopefully, all the plugs and everything, at the front here. These wires will be taken off of there and fed up through in there on the top of the radiator. I'll have to swing the radiator out of the way to give me room to do that. But all these plugs will join in this... Get a bit of light on the subject. In this gap. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear I shouldn't have started this when I've been drinking um, will fit in that gap they will fit in that gap they've got no choice but to fit in that gap um, and as I say hopefully let's just move that out of the way well not hopefully I've had a bit of a measure up the fuse box will sit there in this stretch here between the two intakes um, the wires will go out through there through some sort of rubber grommet or something like that to keep it sealed i don't think it matters too much whether that is sealed um, so yes the fuse box will sit in there and then the air filter will sit on top of it and Yes, it does leave a gap between the two. Um, and with the fuses and that in there, it shouldn't impede the flow because obviously the flow comes through the intakes, up through the filter, and then down into the inlets. So it shouldn't impede flow. And to be fair, an air-cooled fuse, fuse box 
is cutting edge technology. So yes, that's where the fuse box, that's where the fuse box will be sitting. And as I say, all the rest of the plugs in the front there. There is a hardened piece of plastic there, which runs right the way across the top of both the radiator and across the um, headers. So the heat from those shouldn't come up through and affect the wiring at all. It is similar to what I did on the 600 and I had no problems with that. So it's a similar planning, but unlike the 600, the wiring should come out a lot, lot neater. It just look, the whole thing will look a lot tidier. Cause I think on the 600, all the wiring came up this way. So it went, it just went across here and was mashed in here with loads of plugs and that stuck in there. And I put in a, um, it was the oil breather can, instead of the breather going back up into the air box, it had its own can and that hid most of the wiring. But I want this looking a bit better. So as I say, I'm rooting all the wiring I mean, look how clean that is, that side, with no wire in there, or very minimal. Um, that's the clutch cable, which might want a bit of a reroute. But yes, this will be tidied away. That's the heated grips, which again, I've rerouted that. I had routed that around the side there. This, this is following the main loom now. And coming up through here so next i need to take the air box completely off and start feeding the wires through ready for cutting them all back and soldering them all together i mean there's a few there that will be tidy enough as they are but there's there's a lot there that will get cut right back I mean for what I've got on the for what I've got on the fuse box that will come out the fuse box so and that's what I've got to join so there's an overrun of well all in all probably a foot of wire for each of them so yes but I want to get it all positioned first and make sure it goes in before I obviously cut it down. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's, there's the update. I'll get on with that and I might show you some of the footage of me doing it and I might not. Well, there's some more time in the shed well spent. Till next time, ride safe.